Welcome back to Panero's Mind, people. Now, the reason for this video today, because I'm seeing a lot of people, you know, a lot of millionaires, billionaires, shall I say, um, you know, doing projects to try and get themselves out to the stars. You know, um, we've seen Richard Branston, you know, um, was it a few weeks ago? He had his little um, rocket, you know, and, um, you know, it kind of like, it has them flying at the top. You know, it doesn't really go too far out into space. It's just the perimeter of the firmament. Yeah. It's the perimeter of the firmament, you know. Um, you know, and we have... Um, uh, what was the name of the crew? There was another crew. Um, Blue Origin had a space launch. And they had, like, at least five-man crew. And, that, you know, it basically went up and then came back down, you know. Uh, now I'm not here to take the mic, you know, I'm just here to um, point out a few things, you know, um, you know, the government's always talking about global warming these days, you know, maybe it could be a thing of where they're trying to escape, they're trying to find ways of them to escape, um, it's kind of crazy because when, uh, they was launched, and I'm talking about the, the Blue Origin shuttle, they labelled it as um, the first time man's gone into space. Mm. So what, did that shuttle go higher than the moon then? Because, you know, they claim that they've been to the moon, right? Didn't look that high. Um, you know, there was, a, again, that shuttle, when it was blasted into the sky, if you see the footage, and I'll put a picture up, you know, you can see that it gets to a certain level you know, they get to a certain level. It's like they can't go... It's like they're not able to go higher. Because if they would, if they could, they would, right? Okay, why am I making um, an issue with this? Okay, the reason why is because subscribers know already. I've done a video on has NASA been to the moon. You know, and um, there's a rocket footage in that video. Okay, and I'm going to play it to you now so you can see where I'm going with this. But what I'm going to do, I'm not going to play the whole launch. I'll play a little piece of the launch for you. And when it gets up there, because there's a couple points that I want to make. All right, so check this out. Now, as you can see in this footage, it's obvious to see that, uh, you know, the rocket couldn't go no further, right? It was hitting something. And if you check the footage of Richard Branson rocket, the Virgin rocket, or whatever they called it, and the Blue Origin rocket, you will notice that they both can only go to the same sort of height as shown on that rocket flight. You see the footage of the rocket flight at the end and it's spinning and you can see the darkness, you know, you can see, you know, the sun and um, it seems like they can only get that far. What is the su sudden urge for um, all this rocket stuff and all this UFO talk and, and whatnot? What, what do you think might be the urge of this, you know? I, I think I know what the urge is, you know, I think they don't want to be here no more. Maybe they feel like, um, you know, something's coming for them. You know, that's why you got all these guys with these underground bases. You know, they they want to hide from a major, a major event that that might happen on the planet. I kid you not. There's people out there that have put in millions and millions of dollars and pounds into these underground bases. You know, um, I don't feel that you know. They know exactly what's... I don't feel that they all know exactly what's going on, but some of them might, you know, and they might feel that they're going to be safe. But there's a problem with that. And I'm going to show you. Now, underground bases, storing food underground. You know, we've seen some different type of underground bases. If you go and search online, you'll see so many different types. You'll see underground bases that look like hotels. Because there's this... 
in the conspiracy world and in the, you know, in the alien world, there's this myth that, I don't know if it's true or not, but they say that Mars looked like Earth at one time and it went through a, a major event, like what people are waiting for here. And that's why it looks like Mars. But they're trying to say the people them that was on Mars survived by going underground. Now, that's a that's their theory, you know what I mean? But me personally, that sounds like a theory to make money. You know, that to me, that sounds like a theory that you might want to put out there. You know, like when you're a salesman or something, you know, like when you're trying to sell something, anything, when you're marketing and promoting something, there's going to be a story behind it, right? With anything that you sell. So, um, you know, um, that's something that's something to think about. That's something to think about. Is it a thing of where they say these things so they can basically sell their product? You know, so they can sell their product, man. You know what I mean? Um, I'm not saying that that's, that's for definite, but I'm saying it could be... Because I've heard it so many times about on Mars, they survived, they went underground and... You know, so that would be a good little story to tell the people, wouldn't it? If you was that type of person, if you was mean like that, and you knew that it was BS. But to make money, that would be... But that's how the world goes around, isn't it? That's how the world is today. They'll sell you out to make money, they'll tell you whatever. You know what I mean? So, just something to think about. But there's a catch-22 with this, people. And it's not really a catch-22. It's just really what it is. Because it's written, you know? And, um... If, if it's written in the Quran or any other books, please put it in the comments below. But for the people, you know what I mean, that feel that, you know, that they can hide in the underground base, I just want to let you know, uh, huh, it's not a good idea. It's not a good idea because you can't hide. It's not you, you, you cannot hide, you know what I'm saying? But Amos 9 verse 2 clearly states, Volve dig into hell, meaning, you know, dig underground. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. So this, he's saying, don't matter how deep you want to, you know, run, where you want to run to, he's going to take you regardless. Though they climb up to heaven, thence would I bring them down. And that's Amos 9 verse 2, right? Now, let's get to this, the, the latter part. Um, let's get to the latter part now. Of what he means by climbing up to heaven, right now, there's been talks of running to Mars, running to different planets. If the global warming gets too crazy, they're gonna duck out. That isn't. You can't. You can't. You cannot duck out. It's not. It's not possible, man. I'm just. Did you see Richard Branson's face when he was in that shuttle, right? When he was in the shuttle, look at his face properly when he's up there. I don't really think what was going through, what you think was going through his mind. We don't know what was going through his mind. We don't share mind, but me, from the knowledge that I got, I think I sort of know what was going through his mind. He was thinking, how the hell do we get out of this place? You know? How do we get out of this place? Them men have had air balloons and them things there for a long time that have gone high up. Air balloons... Air balloons can go very high up, people. Very high up. So they put the satellites up there. But that's another story, you know. Um, so people, them. People want to leave on a, and duck out. The elites, they want to cut, right? Or maybe a situation of disaster. Like, we've seen it in the movies, right? But check this out. So you feel that you want to you wanna ride... Get on a craft and ride through space and, you know, run from judgment. Check this out, though. Obadiah 1, verse 4, clearly says, Though thou exhort thyself as an eagle, and thou full set thy nest among the stars, space stations and whatever among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, said the Lord. And as I said earlier on in Amos, though they climb up to the heavens, thence I will bring them down. There's no escape in this, this judgment. 
Yeah, there ain't no escape in this judgment. You can't run. I know it's peak for you. You're thinking about, you know, you know, you're thinking about certain things that you've done in life and certain vows that you took and them things there. But you see, this is where people mess up, man. They get the money, they enjoy the money, then once they've enjoyed the money, they're forgetting what's next. And that's why most of them end up doing drugs. Some of them end up um, actually killing themselves. And this is the money that everybody's chasing. You know, this is the money that everybody's chasing and killing each other for. And then when a man gets so much of it, they don't even know what to do with it. They're definitely not doing the right thing with it. You know what I mean? There's so much people out here that are in need. There's so much, you know what I mean? There's so much lands that need um, things like wells and stuff like that. But the point is what I'm trying to make is that all this talk about this alien stuff and all this talk about these, uh, um, what shall I say, these rocket launches that are happening and whatnot, right? Manned, manned rockets and that. You would have thought they'd done that years ago. They said they went to the moon, right? You would have thought they'd done that years ago, sent a man up into the sky, right? Just, what, that? I was, I don't know, was you impressed by it? I don't know. Jot down if you was impressed by it, you know what I mean? Because... They said that they sent a man to a moon in the 1940s. So, what's what's the big deal of that anyway? You know what I mean? And then if you get a chance, no, make sure, you know, that you watch my NASA video. You know, um, it's very important, very important. <laughs> it's ridiculous, to be honest with you. So, when I watch these videos, I just got to put this in there. People, when I watch some of these flat videos, it's like, there's so many parts of it that just looks like a simulation or like graphics, you know. Now, we are getting to the technology, we are getting to that point in life where our technology, um, how can I say this, our technology is getting to the level where it could probably almost be real anyway. So it might be, if we get to that point in technology where we don't know the difference, that is concerning, like, that is something to be concerned about. Because then they can put anything in front of our faces and we wouldn't even know what's really going on, you know? But I'm just going to play a little clip of the rocket, um, the Blue Origin rocket, when it landed. You see, I like to watch it and pick my own bits that I think look funny. To me, like, if you look at this footage here, it, it looks quite funny to me, you know? It looks like, um, you know, it looks like... Um, three different colours and all sorts, man. But check, check this out. So yeah, people, I don't know if you peeped it or not, but that rocket looked like three different colours. And it's funny how um, when it was landing, um, you know, the other uh, camera angle just completely blurred out. Um, and great timing, great timing. Um, you know, even if you watch uh, further on the video, um, the, guy, the guys inside the rocket, they're not even moving. Like, man was still for a good, as the camera was, you know, circulating the pod as it landed um because that's the booster that landed in that video you know but the, when the pod landed if you go back and watch it they was, they was filming the guy and the guy was not moving like there was no celebration when the rocket landed the guy was just in there like this up against the window for a long time now you might think i'm bugging but these are the sort of things that i look out for you know another thing that i'm gonna say as well um when you do watch the um you know either one of the rocket launchers, um, whether it's um, the Richard Branston one or the other one, I seem to realise that, um, you know, they don't really look out the window that much. I don't know if it's like... I, I, I don't know. Like, I personally feel, you know, that if I was to blast off um, high up like that, you know, in that sort of altitude, I would want to try and look, see things that I've maybe never seen before. Not like be doing backflips, you know what I mean? Because... Everyone knows that when you train to be an astronaut, there's a room for that. You can do all that. You can go and play your bat and be, do backflips in the room, the anti-graffiti room and whatnot. Some people feel, feel that that's where they're actually filming them guys from with um, 
graphics behind them but you know um I don't know, me personally, I feel that if I had that experience to blast off high up into the sky, I wouldn't really be worrying about doing acrobatics and throwing skittles in each other's mouths. I'd be like, I know for a fact I will be at the window pinned, just looking around for things, you know what I mean? Looking, taking a look at things and seeing what I can see and stuff, you know what I mean? So, um, I don't know, it, you know, I'm not saying it's fake, I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying that it's a bit... You know what I mean? Maybe it's a different agenda. Or I don't know what's going on with it, man. But one thing I do know is that these people really believe through talks that I've heard NASA having and government having is that these guys really believe that they can get off this planet if it came to a thing of a serious natural disaster or even down to a, um, a nuclear situation. Even down to like a nuclear situation, they really think they can get off the planet. Doesn't really look good though. Like they talk, they talk big. They talk a big game. That's one thing I've noticed about these shuttle guys and these rocket guys. They talk a big game. But what the possibilities in five years, the possibilities in ten years, and and all this. You know what I mean? But it's like people, you got to look between the lines. Like, you know what I mean? How comes you've never ever seen a rocket leave Earth and fly through space without it being on graphics? Never. So, yeah. So, with that, I'm just going to say, you know, um, we have to stay, we have to stay clued up. Uh, and especially when, you know, it's not us that are pushing the buttons to how, the way the world is ran. You understand what I'm saying? So, make sure you hit the like button, people. I don't really ask you for much. I don't ask you for much. And it's nothing just to press like. It's I'm not going to charge you for it or nothing. It just helps get the video circulation. You know what I mean? That's it. And um, yeah, so like, share, subscribe. Peace.